This feast shows some New Yorkers who supported Lincoln, even though they did criticize him. They were called the Loyalists. You might know the name Frederick Douglass, a former slave who spoke out to end slavery, and Frederick Law Olmsted, the designer of Central Park. Look at the plates to see some ideas they supported. Another Loyalist was Horace Greeley, editor of the New York Tribune newspaper. As we tell you about him, turn to your right and walk to the wall with a display case showing a three-page letter. In the summer of 1862, Abraham Lincoln wrote this letter to Greeley. It probably doesn't look like much, but it shows that Lincoln understood how to use newspapers to influence people. Some New Yorkers wanted to abolish slavery, and some didn't. Greeley did want to abolish it, and he had written an editorial that he called Prayer of 20 Millions, asking President Lincoln to outlaw slavery immediately. It's on the wall to your left. Lincoln answered Greeley in the letter, and the crucial part of what he wrote is on the poster to the left. It says, If I could save the Union without freeing the slaves, I would do it. And if I could save it by freeing all slaves, I would do it. And if I could save it by freeing some and leaving others alone, I would also do that. In that statement, Lincoln is saying that preserving the Union, not ending slavery, is the most important thing to him, and his reason for fighting the war. But it turns out the president was already thinking that ending slavery would hurt the Confederacy's war effort. Even as he wrote to Greeley, he was working on writing the Emancipation Proclamation, which would free the slaves in states that had left the Union. Find stop number 117 to hear more about this document.